Hi all, we're taking a look right now at Google and ways that we can use it uh, to help us research and conduct research while we're online. So when I'm researching, what I'll typically do if I'm not going to the library or using the VPN or the online options for my university library, I'll go into Google and use that as a starting point and then go into Google Scholar. So let's say I'm conducting research on reading comprehension. I'll go into, there are a number of search engines that are out there. I use Google because it knows my history and it has my background. And I can go in and say, reading comprehension. So it'll look in and it'll search on reading comprehension and it'll give me, uh, I'm going to turn off my personal results just so that we can see what most people will see. And if I go into Google, it'll give me an overview. One of the first pieces in most situations will be Wikipedia. You'll see there's a number of other resources out there. If I search again and whittle it down a little bit and say uh, for science, then I can get a more direct or uh, a finely tuned result. And that's basically just changing up your keywords. So if I'm in reading comprehension, uh, there's a number of things I can do within Google. I can go up here into search tools and I can whittle it down to figure out, okay, is this something I've searched for before? Uh, I can take a look also at uh, whittling it down to uh, different dictionary levels or if I want to look for a word. Uh, one thing of use for our students would be reading level. So let's say you want to find something that's on the reading level of your students in science or in your content area uh, or something on snakes uh, that's of an appropriate reading level for your students. You can obviously select it there. Um, you could also, within search engines, you can take a look at, um, you know, if it's from a certain area. So let's say it's nearby where I would be. Um, while we're here taking a look at Wikipedia, I'm a believer in Wikipedia. I think that, you know, a couple that recently people said that the internet was a self-cleaning oven. I believe that Wikipedia is a is a trustworthy, is a is an effective learning research tool. Um, basically, it's good that it gives us an overview of material or information in a particular area. It also gives us a pretty decent uh, list uh, of references at the end to see where this information comes from. This is uh, provides us an opportunity to look at further reading, but basically gives you an overview of a topic and you can see how it interrelates to other areas. You can click on areas to see if it would uh, more suit your needs and what you're looking for. But Wikipedia is definitely a good, well, in my opinion, it's a good place to start and it's a good tool because it gives us that overview and gives us a, an understanding, a basic understanding of the depth and breadth of a certain topic. Um, so once you're in uh, a particular area, you can change your keywords if you need help uh, picking different keywords. Um, but basically that's how I use Google as an initial way to start my research process when I'm trying to learn more about a topic. There are ways that you can whittle it down, changing uh, the, the reading level. You can look for just images. You can look at um, you know, uh, other ways to modify your search. Um, but obviously, one of the best ways to modify your search is by changing the keywords and helping you use different locating strategies as you're online. So that's the initial part about using online tools, free online tools, as we conduct research.